Hi, and welcome to this click looking at an applied weak acid calculation. It focuses on aspirin concentration in blood, so it's um, a little bit tricky to think to, to start off with, so we'll have a look and see if we can unpick it for you. So it tells you that aspirin is a weak acid with a pKa value of 3.40 and a solubility in water of 1 times 10 to the minus 2 grams per centimeter cubed. There's two things we need to think about. The pK needs to be related to H+, plus because we use H+, plus to work out the pH. And the fact that it's a saturated solution means that this is the amount, the maximum amount, that can dissolve in one gram, sorry, in one centimeter cubed of water. So what we should do is start changing this into a concentration. So let's deal with it one step at a time. Let's do the pKa value first. That means that you can work out the K value by doing 10 to the minus pKa. So we can park that there and come back to it a little bit later. Next thing to do is to work out what a saturated solution actually means. That means the maximum amount of aspirin can dissolve in water at body temperature. So we have a number that can be used to work with that. So it says that one gram, sorry, one times 10 to the minus two grams per centimeter cubed is a sol the solubility of aspirin. So it's the maximum amount of aspirin that can actually dissolve in water at body temperature. So, this connects with this. So, we'll need to think about the molar mass of aspirin. So, adding it all up, it's C9H804, which gives you 180 grams per mole. So, that means the number of moles of aspirin in 1 times 10 to the minus 2 grams is 5 times 10 to the minus 5 moles. And scaling that up to 1 decimeter cubed, um, by multiplying it by 1,000, that means there's 0.05 moles of aspirin in 1,000 centimeters cubed, which means we can say that the concentration of aspirin in a saturated solution of water at body temperature is 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed. So the next thing to do is to look at the molar ratio between aspirin and the um, acidic hydrogen ion that comes off it. There's only one, so clearly there's only one carboxylic acid group, so it's this, this one here that comes off. And this means that aspirin is a monobasic acid, so the Ka expression can be used to find H+. We've already worked out the value for K is earlier on, so all we need to do now is construct the K expression and rearrange it so H plus is the subject, so then we can work out the pH as directed. So plugging the numbers in, that gives us 4.46154269. You'll notice I'm sticking to calculated values throughout here to try and keep it as accurate as possible. So if I plug that into the pH equals minus log H plus concentration expression, that gives me 2.35051498. Now the convention is that only two decimal places is used when uh, quoting pHs, so I simply change that to 2.35 to get my answer. Okay, hopefully that's been useful, quick look at this type of question. Until next time, thanks for listening, and see you soon.